bone density of the lowest, the lower extremities, <laughs> the lowest extremities, <laughs> the lower extremities. Yeah, that is, a, that is a problem that you will have to face at one point in your life. If not today, when you're 50, 60, 70, you will definitely have to face up to the fact that your bones got thinner. And as your bones are getting thinner, your chances of breaking goes through the roof. But it's always fascinating to me that the only known way to increase bone density is when you put force through a bone. And I don't understand why doctors are not bigger advocates of resistant training, weight training, and any kind of weight-bearing training. Because indeed, as you age, that is going to be your number one ally to make sure your bones don't become thinner. Create the type of resistance that you can fight against with your upper extremities, with your lower extremities, and carrying some loads on your spine. That is the only known way how you can maintain or potentially even increase your bone density. Owie. Yeah, doing push-ups on the fists are not feasible for most people. All right, I do it sometimes. But it is painful right now, especially on an asphalt. So increasing your bone density in your hand you need to find some other ways, some more gentle ways. So you wanna find something that's a little bit gentler on your hand. You can have actually just a straight wall or something like this. And you can just put your fist against the soil and try to do some push-ups. Or you can also just simply keep yourself here and push against the ground. And you can make little tiny moves like this with your hand this is still quite a challenge for most people. You can also just do this simply against a wall. As you lean against your fist, like so, it does increase the bone density in your forearm. And bone density in the arms with age also drops. So any ways you can increase it, thumbs up. No pun intended. Lifting up a random object on the street and just push them over top of your head is also something that increases the bone density in your upper extremities and even actually on your spine. When you lift things over top of your head, it is a challenge for your spine. And more weight is loading your spine, the more your whole body is encouraged to build more density into your bones. A typical problem for the other is breaking their hips or breaking their upper thigh bone. Because as you age, generally talking, people's balance gets worse and their bone density drops, and that's a bad combo to have. Because the chances of you falling and breaking something, yeah. just bigger. Best prevention is to take care of your bone density of the lower extremities. So, let's break down your body into three different compartments. Lower extremities, your spine, upper extremities. Let's discuss bone density in all three of these. This is one way to take care of the lower one. This will actually increase the bone density in your lower leg. Guys, please press like, subscribe, and jot down some notes below if you have any questions in regards to bone density. Ciao.